Hi, welcome to Penguins Known. Today we have the world-renowned harpist Xavier de Minister. Hi, Hi. Xavier. Nice welcome to Taipei Thank again. You. Um, how many times you been in Taiwan? I think it's my third time. Third time. Yes. Uh -huh. I, the first time I came was with uh, the Vienna Philharmonic on tour. Oh, maybe what ten. year was that? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was ten years ago, maybe. Okay, yeah. that's a long time ago. Yeah. And then I came back to play uh, with uh, uh, NTO uh, two years ago. I played the Ginastera Concerto. Ginastera, and, uh, mm -hmm. and I'm back this year with... Oh, uh, yes. Um, tell us about... Tomorrow you'll do another concert in Taipei. Yes. Which piece will you perform? I will play a Glier Harp Concerto. Glier. This is a very romantic piece. Um, Glier was a... a um, um, German-Russian composer. He lived in St. Petersburg, mm -hmm. um, and uh, and he wrote beautiful music. Um, uh, maybe I mean he, he he this piece was composed in the middle of the 20th century, and it sounds more like the end of the 19th century. But it's very well written, very well orchestrated, and it shows really all the possibilities the, 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 of, the, of the, the instruments. I can't wait to go hear you play tomorrow. Um, so um, I know uh, around 1998 you won the biggest international heart competition in Indiana, mm -hmm. USA. And at the same time you got into a Vienna Philharmonic, you become the principal harpist. Tell, tell us about yeah, this uh, was a life in the, <laughs> with the Vienna. A big year for, you know, when I when I was studying, um, my teacher told me, you know, as a harpist, it's not possible to become a soloist. Oh. So you have to go into an orchestra. He's That's wrong, the goal. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and um, I mean, she was right because there, there there was no example of somebody really touring the whole world just playing solo concerts. So um, I applied and I got the job with the Vienna Philharmonic when I was wow. uh, 25. That's and um, incredible. it was almost for me a little disappointment because I felt, well, now this is the last goal and <laughs> there is no way. <laughs> but you, <laughs> this you is the end of, 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 of my, <laughs> of, of my, of oh my, my, of my, of my oh. career, I mean, of my the path of my career. And, mm -hmm. uh, but, and I realized that I was not really, um, done for, for, for the orchestra because um, um, I, I've, at the beginning I enjoyed playing there because you played with the greatest uh, conductors, the greatest halls and of course the orchestra is amazing. I know. But yeah. as a harpist you spend 90% of your time just waiting. And, and I, sometimes you play just a couple bars. Yeah, that's it. And sometimes <laughs> you <movement>. stay <laughs> 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 the whole rehearsal and you don't even play a note. So oh. I got quite frustrated and I thought, well, I don't want to do that for 40 years. <laughs> so I said, I have to, to try something. Mm -hmm, so I decided mm -hmm. to try to mm -hmm. promote the harp as a solo instrument. Mm -hmm. And I um, realized that every time that I was playing solo concerts, it was very successful. So I mm -hmm. said, OK, it mm -hmm. might not be possible, but I will try it anyway. Try to begin. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, so I was also, um, you know, the problem with the harp is the repertoire. We mm -hmm. don't have Tchaikovsky concerto. We don't have Brahms. We don't mm -hmm. have Beethoven. Mm -hmm. so, um, so how did you do it? We, uh, yeah, you, you did a lot of arrangements. I started doing a lot of arrangements, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. Because I thought, okay, this is not a very well-known instrument. So if I start playing unknown composers, it will be very difficult to convince the organizers and uh, the, mm -hmm. the, the CD companies. Mm -hmm. So I started to arrange music. I arranged Debussy, I arranged Haydn, Mozart, mm -hmm. all the piano pieces um, could be, uh, can be played on the harp. It's not easy, but, um, but it's, you don't have to change a lot, actually, because the harp writing is, is exactly the same as the piano, piano writing. It's a bit similar. But it's, it's very a lot similar. Of, it's but the food is a lot of work for food that we don't <laughs> see, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's it. How many pedals are there? We have seven here? pedals. Seven. Because oh, we change the tones with the pedals. Half tone with the Yeah, exactly. We do all the half tones with pedals. So you can imagine. But the whole note is uh, by the string. Right? Yeah, yeah, so with one string, you can produce three different notes. Oh, it's like wow. the, 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 the strings are the white the, the, um, the taste of the, of the, of the, of the piano. piano, the white keys, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. all the black keys you have to do with the feet. That is difficult. Yeah, but since if you put a wrong pedal, then you're really <laughs> <That> <laughs> you're out of, yeah, exactly. 